Hello, my name is Bailey O'Hare. I feel called to enter the Religious Sisters of Mercy of Alma, Michigan, and this is my story. I grew up in a small town in Minnesota where the importance of community, the Catholic faith, and the fun of sports was instilled in me from a young age. Although I didn't have a deeply personal relationship with Christ at this time, I believe that it really laid the foundation to allow me to enter in later in my life. When I was in high school, I attended the National Catholic Youth Conference, and this was the first time that I met young people just passionately living out their faith. Their witness inspired me to pursue a Catholic college for undergrad. During my freshman year, I attended a campus ministry retreat, and this was the first time that I experienced adoration. Following this experience, I really wanted to learn more about the faith in which I was raised. And so the following semester, I signed up for a Foundations in Catholic Theology course. On the first day of class, as students were filing in, in walked a Religious Sister of Mercy in full habit, and I was shocked. I had never met a sister before, and she came and sat next to me. We would talk every day before class, and about halfway through the semester, she slipped me a note. Realizing that no one else was getting a note, I slipped it into my backpack. And following class, I opened it up to realize that it was an invitation to holy hour and dinner with her community. I went mostly out of curiosity. These women had a peace and a joy that I had never found anywhere else. Even though I had this positive experience, I still had many plans for my life and I was going to be a wife and a mother and a doctor and I was going to just keep working hard towards those. I joined a women's Bible study on campus. I realized that they had a personal relationship with Christ that I wanted. I realized if I truly trust Him, I have to trust Him with my entire life. Initially, this looked like me laying out all of my plans for the Lord and seeing if he could just kind of sign off on them and we would be good. But each time I would go to the chapel and just pray about what he desires, the offer to give him my entire life kept coming up. I talked with one of the priests on campus who put me back in contact with the sisters. I began literally sneaking over to the convent on campus so that no one would see me and joining the sisters for holy hour and dinner. I began going on frequent walks with one of the sisters and their dog. On one particular walk, it was on a beautiful spring day, I was sharing with her my desire to be a mother and that I wasn't sure that I could give that up. As she shared with me about spiritual motherhood and her own experience with it, I realized that she was a spiritual mother to me. And I knew, regardless of my vocation, she had changed my life for the better. Shortly thereafter, I graduated and moved to Rochester, Minnesota to spend a year of research at Mayo Clinic. As I began medical school at Creighton University, this tugging that I first experienced during undergrad continued, leading me to travel to our community's mother house in Alma, Michigan for a visit. While I was with the sisters and partaking in their daily life of prayer and service and community life, there's just this peace and this sense of being home. The invitation to become the Bride of Christ is the greatest invitation I could ever imagine. When we love someone, we move towards the one that we love. And it is such a gift to be able to invite you in to walk with me on my journey as I continue to take steps towards the one whom I love. Thank you for watching.